got, we got jobs, jobs a lot of jobs were available. And I also got a job as a runner. That means the company that I work for had 55 branches throughout the northwest of London. And they guarantee a builder any material that they wanted, they could get it for them in 24 hours. So if they wanted something specific, they'd send me to wherever that place was in a part of London that was to pick up that specific bit of material. Okay. And um, so that kind of get me to know London at the same time. Dad did one of the typical things that a lot of men did when they came. Uh, he was on the trains. Uh, he didn't drive them. Uh, he serviced them and worked on the rails. So a lot of moving up and down the country. My great grandmother, she was a specialised eye doctor in Barbados and then she came over to work for the NHS and initially she couldn't work in a specialised field. She only had to work in like being a nurse and doing the cleaning. So she was doing jobs she was overqualified for. All the young people, like I remember teachers coming here, qualified teachers when they come here and when they come here they didn't, they didn't accept their qualifications. They were downgraded and any trade, even accountants who come here, they couldn't get a job. They just have to go labour and get whatever they can, you know. Coming here, my mother was um, training as a nurse. When she came here, she thought she would be able to get a job as a nurse. She was more forced into auxiliary. Then, you know, working, it, it, it wasn't so, so nice. My father ended up um, driving lorries and, and so forth, you know. There was a lot of young ladies who came to the nursing, a lot. If you go to the hospital, you guarantee to see a West Indian nurse, or more, you know, quite a few of them. That is the legacy that they brought. They, because the NHS was born the same time the Windrush came in 1948. Because that's where I saw black women, you know, they were nurses. What else could I be? Oh, my head teacher decided, well, you've got all the qualifications, age 16, you're going to be a teacher. Did I argue with her? Not one bit. She had been to Africa. She said there are not enough black teachers. She was black, white herself. Not enough black teachers. I'm going to produce one of the black teachers. So next thing, I'm, I'm on that journey. Um, in terms of like my career and my training wise, um, most of the time I'm either the only per black person or person of colour in a class or in a group and there's, there's, there's always like a sense of people wanting you to live up to like stereotypes or expectations and that's, it adds like quite a lot of pressure to the job. You also feel like you can't sometimes voice your opinions because you don't want to come across as that angry black person who's always got something to say. So I think um, that in terms of my career, that's kind of like where I get the, like, the most pressure from. 